Skullface get away. Stop him at the heliport. Not this one, Boss, can you see the heliport? Skullface is right there. Make contact with him and make him talk. We have to stop him before his plan is set in motion. Zolanthropus is somewhere inside there. First of all, make contact with Skullface. Don't kill him yet. We need him to talk first. known loss and that loss torments you still you hope hatred might someday replace the pain but it never goes away it makes a man hideous inside and Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> we both are demons. Our humanity won't return. You, me, we've no place to run. Nowhere to hide. And that is why I'll show you my demon. Follow me, big boss. against him, our deterrent. He doesn't want a war on his hands. Whatever the Navajo told you, with just one possible solution derived by Cypher, my will is different. I've known you since your time at Langley. I've long been the other side of your coin. 1964, Soviet territory. Vox's first mission. Any mess you made, I was there to clean up. You completed your task, and admirably. The information you returned was far more than enough to fill our pockets. With it, our futures became, more or less, set in stone. Then the Major came to me with an idea. Washington doesn't know how to spend money, he said. I'd like to redirect it. His goal was an organization dedicated solely, covertly, to supporting America. Cypher. You know the rest. To him, it was mourning the loss of his friend. Or rather, an act of revenge on the world, but America most of all.
instead of simply assimilating, its citizens live alongside others. Their roots are very diverse. America's never been made up of just one. But he tried to forge a single consciousness for it and from it. The idea that every citizen would use free will to unite behind their country. Unilateralism like that can't be entrusted to any one individual. So the Major sought a system that used information, words, to control the subconscious. America and the entire world. The Major thought this was his friend's word, but I think he never understood what she wanted. Before he ever walked or cried, even before he was born, his mother tongue was English. He doesn't know the pain of losing his own language. Not yet. He cannot understand her will. I do. I was born in a small village. I was still a child when we were raided by soldiers. Foreign soldiers. Torn from my elders, I was made to speak their language. With each new post, my masters changed, along with the words they made me speak. Words are peculiar. With each change, I changed too. My thoughts, personality, how I saw right and wrong. War changed me. And not only my visage. Words can kill. I was invaded by words, burrowing and breeding inside me. A philosopher once said, It is no nation we inhabit, but a language. Make no mistake. Our native tongue is our true fatherland. My fatherland. My truth was stolen from me. And so was my past. All that's left is the future. And mine is revenge. On those who leech off the words of their fellow man. This is what I learned from the Major. And then it hit me. It was he who should feel my wrath. He and the code he chose as basis for control. Language codes, information codes, beamed all around us, genetic codes spanning history. By controlling the codes, Cypher Zero intends to unify. Codes implanted into our heads, sucking our minds dry as it spreads from one host to the next. A parasite upon this earth, that is what Zero is. As one born into this world, he's afflicted. I hold him responsible for killing my freedom. Killing all traces of my past. Killing any promise of a future. We are all but dead men forced to walk upon this earth. A world reduced to zero. Cypher plans to use its codes to control the world. They think they can. And the mother tongue of all those codes is English. The word became flesh. The final parasite. It knows English. An English strain of the vocal parasite. 
I will exterminate the English language. With this, I'll rid the world of infestation. All men will breathe free again. Reclaim their past, present, and future. This is no ethnic cleanser. It is a liberator. To free the world from zero. Let the world be. Sans lingua franca, the world will be torn asunder. And then it shall be free. People will suffer, of course. A phantom pain. The world will need a new common tongue. A language of nukes. My metal ears shall be the thread by which all countries are bound together. Inequality. No words will be needed. Every man will be forced to recognize his neighbor. People will swallow their pain. They will link lost hands. And the world will become war. This war is peace. Sahalanthropus. The hands of the Doomsday Clock will roll on, regardless of zero. Sahalanthropus will take the first giant step into a brave new world. It is the bell with which a world, trodden upon by words, declares its independence.